Okay, I'm recording this audio with my Yeti X directly connected to the Surface Duo. Hopefully I can keep this in. I am going to long press my Slim Pen 2, which is what I have configured to bring up the pen menu. And you see the applications that I have come up. This has varied for me, and I have primarily tried to put in what I think are the most used apps. And on this menu, you can also see the battery life remaining and the gear icon so that you can go directly into settings. Now, I'm not going to go to the settings through this action. I'm going to go there the way you would the first time. So to do that, I need to go to Quick Settings. Okay, there we go. That was the two-finger swipe down, which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Let's go to Settings. Let's go to Connected Devices. Now, from Connected Devices, you need to scroll down. You would think you could select your device, but scroll down to where you see surface pin yes i'm aware there's a big blue squiggly line up through the middle if you're curious why that's there ask and i'll tell you so i'm selecting surface pin and here you can select which hand you write with if you want the pin to automatically charge don't know, have any need for that to be turned on you can see that my single click is configured to create a page and just so you can see um, I'll select that and you can see the actions that you can make your single click if you wanted it to be the pin menu if you wanted it to be screenshot or create page which is what I have let's go back double click same thing now for me double click takes a screenshot I, I don't really use that a lot and I might change it one day and before I get to the press and hold that I have configured for the pin menu you can see down at the bottom pin information and that your slim pin 2 is up to date that is because you can update the Slim Pen 2 from the Surface Duo 2, and I did a video on that. So let's go to Press and Hold. I have Press and Hold, as you can see, we're on, and the action is the pen menu. Now you could have Press and Hold activate an application so you'll have your apps list down below if you've never been in here before and you can select which app you would like to activate i'm going to select the gear icon as you just saw and you can see the four options that are available now it might be cool if they expanded this to six kind of like the App Dock is configured. I would be happy with that because I'd like to hide the App Dock, but I digress. You can see my four applications. And if, as an example, I don't want Teams to come up, I can select that location, find an app. Let's say I want. I'm not flying as much anymore, but if I were, maybe this would be in one of my locations. And I can press and hold just to see what happens. And you can see, hey, there's American Airlines now. But I don't want that. I'm going to go back to teams so i'm gonna scroll all the way down you can see your other all the little apps that you could uh, add in i'm going semi-slow but i'll put teams in there now press and hold and there's 
Microsoft Teams back in the game. And that's all there is to it. I will do another Slim Pin 2 video, maybe to go over all the settings in more detail. This was just to cover the pin menu. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hey, give me some comments, and most of all, thanks for watching.